What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, we're, we're back in the desert here, and uh, there is a little something here that I kind of had, had my eye on, and that is Scraggy. As many of you guys already know, I had Scraggy in Pokemon Black. And I kind of realized that, you know what, there is a little bit of a missing piece to this, this whole team. It's not, that I, it's not that I don't like my team or anything like that, it's just, well, I did say I was going to bring in some of the old Pokemon into this team in Pokemon Y2 to make it a little bit more, I don't know, a little more interesting and all that stuff. But as you can see... What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. Okay, so look at this, guys. We're taking on a Scraggy right here. Now, there is, there is a little bit of a backstory to this whole thing right here. I thought it over, and I, I just realized that, you know what? I like my Pokemon Black team so much. Well, some of the Pokemon in my Pokemon Black team so much that I... I really, really wanted to incorporate it right here. That's why I have Ace. That's why I have Sigh of the Torrent and all that stuff. Now, I, I did notice that there was a bit of a missing piece to this whole team, uh, including in, po in Pokemon uh, Black as well. I mean, going back into Pokemon Black, doing the whole code things and everything and playing with the same team, I realized that, you know, there was, there was a few spots on that team that needed upgrades and all that stuff. And, you know... I kind of figured that, you know what, now that we're playing Pokemon Y2, might as well make those small upgrades and pick the best Pokemon from my old Pokemon Black team and incorporate them right here. Scraggy happens to be one of those Pokemon. Now, I have... I have a nice, uh, I have a nice array of Pokemon on this team now. I mean, I'm very proud of uh, how they they've gone and all that stuff. But now going into the halfway point into this game right here with the badges and all that stuff, I think it's time to just upgrade just a little bit more, add a little bit more flavor into this team. So as you can see, guys, we caught ourselves Scraggy, and there it is, Scraggy, the shedding Pokemon, both dark and fighting. Part of its sturdy skull, it suddenly headbutts everything, but its weight makes it unstable too. And well, as many of you guys already know, we are going to be nicknaming this Pokemon Shadar. Why, I do not know. I, I got to look back onto that episode just to see, I don't know, <laughs> just to see why I named this Pokemon Shadar. So here we go, guys. Say hello again to Shadar. Look at that. Okay, so I'll be right back with you guys. I'm going to be... Grabbing this Pokemon, retraining them, and then after that, I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, guys. So, after a nice array of training, let's go right ahead and take a look at our not-so-new, but new Pokemon, Shadar. Look at that. Shadar. So, as you guys can see right here, Scraggy, the dark and fighting type Pokemon, leveled it up to level 23, gave it the scope lens that good old Ace had, and now it has a Brick Brick attack. Fan attack, headbutt, swagger, and as you can see, its attack is just through the roof right here. And the one thing that really, really gets me about this Pokemon here is its ability. Moxie boosts its attack after knocking out your Pokemon, which makes it a very, very formidable Pokemon to actually take on when, you know, it keeps on winning battles. As you can see, uh, let's see, its nature actually helps it out just a little bit more because it actually affects its attack and boosts it just a little bit. So... While I was playing Pokemon Black again, and I reformed the team, I realized that, you know, there was just like, I, I was just like, to me, it was more like, I was trying to figure out how in the hell did I manage to pass this whole game with the team that I had. I didn't have the typical electric type Pokemon, I didn't have a dragon type to help me out, nor anything. It was just brute strength, and it, it somehow worked. So. After, you know, after doing, you know, the special, the, the, the final episodes for you guys for Pokemon Black, I soon realized that, you know what, maybe White 2 needs that. It needs, you know, half the team that, like, like half the team should be featuring the old Pokemon that I had in Black, but the other one are three hand-picked Pokemon that I really, really needed for this team, and, well, I guess you could say I'm, I'm very comfortable with what, what I have right now, because look at this, you got... Shatter both a fighter, a fighting and dark type Pokemon. Magneto, the Magnemite, a steel and an electric type Pokemon. A Pokemon that we really needed here. A Budkiss, a pure fighting or fire type Pokemon. Psy, pure water type. 
Desert Storm. Eventually, it will become a Dragon and, and Ground type Pokemon. And then it's Gigalith right here, a Psychic and Flying type. So I'm liking I'm liking this. And you know what? Maybe down the road, I we'll we'll see what ends up happening. But as you can see right here, our good old buddy Hugh is like, hold it. What are you guys up to anyway? Team Plasma's like, nothing. We're just standing here. So what did we what did we do that or what did we do that you're bothering us with questions? You didn't do anything. Not to me at least. But I I can never forgive you for uh, Pokemon themes like you. Just to let you know. You're about to feel my rage. Yeesh. Trainers surely uh, sure are unruly these days. Is that is that it? You're mistaking your Pokemon strength for your own? I couldn't care less about a run like you, but I don't be, I don't like be messed with. Oh wow. Okay. All right. He, <laughs> he's gonna get jumped. He's like, Draven, cover me. Uh, you're on your own, homie. I'm just gonna walk away, mind my own business. I'm gonna you know uh, focus on something else. Yeah, but if we don't, we're never going to complete this game, so uh, might as well. Let's go ahead and use Shatter or something like that. You got quite, uh, you got some nerves for a little brat. Not really. Not really. Just, uh, I, I just know what's going to happen to you if, you know, he takes on uh, Team Plasma alone. So here we go, Team Plasma. What's up? Coming out with a Watchog, and I picked the right Pokemon for this whole thing. The only problem is, Watchog right here, it is a level 27 Pokemon, so hopefully we hit first. I was wrong, and here comes a Super Fangatang, and, and dang, it just takes half our HP right there, so there we go, Brick Break Attack, and should I hit it again, probably Super Fang misses, so here comes a Brick Break Attack, Shadar, he's kicking some butt, taking some names, gets that Moxie technique going, and yes, look at that, we're getting some experience points, that is freaking awesome. Okay, so that's one down, and, uh, well, if we keep going like this, we'll end up like two years ago! Okay, what's up? I'm next. I stole this Pokemon two years ago, and I've been training it ever since. It's tough. Oh, yeah. Ha! <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Two years ago within this game, the Pokemon got stolen, and, uh, yeah, it, it, it would seem that, yeah, a lot of these Pokemon are, you know, Still being brainwashed by Team Plasma, and unfortunately, we do not have the. Well, we we didn't, you know, we didn't choose out the right Pokemon right here. So here we go, Gigalith, ready to kick some butt. And well, here comes a takedown attack from Trubbish. And well, again, I'm actually, I'm actually very pleased with the kind of Pokemon that I've chosen right here. Look at that. Okay, now it, it, it kind of feels like we got some cover now. Finally. And, uh, well, Team Plasma is not looking so per, uh, so good right now, and, well, you've got to be kidding! And I bullied it, or, and I bullied it so much over the last two years to toughen it up, too! Yeah, that's probably not the way to go about things. We give up. I can't believe we lost the two kids. Just because you're strong, I'll tell you this. We, Team Plasma, are searching for something. When we find it, then, uh, that's when we're, our secret weapon will be able to use the true, its true power. Farewell! Okay, so you're searching for something. I want to know what this is. And, uh, well, Hugh is about to tell us a big, big secret. Five years ago, Team Plasma stole my little sister's uh, purloin. It had given her a, or I had, it had given her, uh, it was given, or had, well, I can't even read, god dang it. It had been given to her as a present. I was only a little kid. I couldn't do anything. So... So that's why I have so I have to get I have to get stronger. Good work. I knew you had good instincts. Well then. Oh yeah, he's you know at least he's like at least he heals our Pokemon and all that stuff. Listen up. You ha or you fill up that Pokedex. Keep getting stronger and stronger and back me up. I'll be counting for you. Uh, I'll be counting on you from now on here on or from here on out too. Okay. So. That explains why he's so angry. Teenage, teenage angst. You gotta love it. Okay, so that is that. Let's go ahead and uh, get the heck out of here and go to the next town. And well, yes, look at this. Nimbasa, see goodbye. And uh, someone's mutterings. Okay, so yes. Okay, so here we are, Route 5. And well, before we leave anywhere, Bianca's like, hey! Uh, okay, well, hello there. Nice timing. I was wanting to give you this. 
we get ourselves the HMO2 Fly. A very good move for our Fly type Pokemon. It's the hitting ability Fly. When you use it, to, when you use this move outside of battle, you can go to places you want to go, like the Pokemon Center. By the way, Draven, do you know? Do you know about the hidden grottos? No, I don't. Okay, okay then, I'll explain. Sometimes you find a grotto among trees where Pokemon like like to hide. That place is called a hidden grotto. Makes sense, right? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Wait! Dot, dot, dot. Okay, alright. Over there! I heard something in that direction! I have good ears. Hey, come with me! And it looks like to, uh, to me that we, we found a hidden grotto, and... Well, it's right there. And... <laughs> Question mark. The sounds are coming from... Uh, or uh, The sounds are coming from somewhere around here. Hmm, she's looking, she's looking. She's looking, and well... Wow, here it is! There's a gap, and, and it looks like we can fit through. Come on, let's go have a look. And it's a narrow path. Yes, we are going to be going through that, and well... We're going in through the hidden grotto, and as you can see, you will be finding specialized Pokemon, like very, very special Pokemon with maybe a specialized move or anything like that, or just a very rare Pokemon itself. Hey, a Pokemon! A Pokemon that hides in a place like uh, like this might be pretty amazing. Amazing? This is a huge discovery and an incredible find! I'll go uh, check a lot of uh, the other trees to see where I can find more hidden grottos. Oh, well, the hidden grottos, it's, it's, a, it's a very good mechanic right there. Okay, so let's see. I am looking through... I am looking through the Pokemon handbook right here. So the hidden grottos, of course, you will be able to find some pretty interesting Pokemon and all that stuff. Um, let's see. What is... Like, Pokemon that you can find in the hidden grottos around this area right here. Uh, Heracross... Day and night, you know, they're very, very rare. Every so often, combies, uh, pincers, and levanis. And uh, like I said, guys, you will be able to find some poke, some of these Pokemon, these rare Pokemon with hidden abilities and all that stuff. Pincer, for instance, gets Hyper Cutter or Mold Breaker, and then Heracross gets Swarm or Guts. So I am not in the mood to look look for these Pokemon, but you know what? It never hurts to actually battle this Pokemon right here. And here we have ourselves a Minchino at level 20. Okay, so we're gonna try and not kill it. We're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna lower its HP and all that stuff. And as you can see, bam, just like that. So let's go right ahead and use one of these little suckers. And well, it is weaker to our to our team, so I guess we can actually capture it, right? Probably, I don't know. And just like that, we have caught ourselves Yes. Okay, so just like that, Manchino has been captured, and well, the Chinchilla Pokemon. That sounds pretty cool. Manchino, great, or uh, Manchino greet each other by grooming one another thoroughly uh, with their tails. Oh, okay, so it's better than sniffing somebody's butt. So that is a Pokemon that we captured in the hidden grotto, and well, again, it's very, very hard to actually find hidden grottos and, and all that stuff, and. Let's see. We're gonna go through this, and yeah, that, that that's pretty much it. But I think it's a daily thing. Comment down below, guys. I'm, I'm too late to the party right here. I am going to put on some repels because, well, let's yeah. <laughs> repels are always awesome, and I need to yes. Okay, so here we have a super repel, just one, and we need to start battling, okay? Because uh, I think that's what you guys came here for. Our expositions or yeah. Art is uh, explosives, explosions. I can't even pronounce. You know what? Let's just battle this guy. I do not care anymore. Uh, like it is currently 11 o'clock at night, guys. So excuse me for not reading correctly or anything like that. I'm just extremely tired. So here we have a Sigilyph, level 25, and well, I'm gonna risk it. Light screen right here. Here we go, and there we go again for another uh, faint attack, and just like that, Shatter grows to level 24. And Magneto grows level 29 and wants to learn Magnet Sound. So let's go and see what, what, what it does right here. So, Metal Sound, a horrible sound that scraping metal harshly reduces special target. Nah, I think I'm good with what I got right now. Eventually, I'm just gonna, like, you know, teach it better, better moves. And... Damn it, come on! Okay, just like that, and just like that. Okay. And we have defeated Horton.
Okay, all right, cool, 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 fantastic, faint. All right, so let's see, more battling, more items and all that crud. And here we found ourselves another super potion, which will actually help us out right here. And before we battle this lady, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Now, many of you guys are probably wondering why I still have Buckus as a Growlithe. I did check up on its moves, and it, it would seem that it learned some pretty good moves after, like, well, it finishes up learning uh, good moves by, by, by its level 40. So, I'm going to stay put for just a little bit from evolving it. I mean, I could evolve it right now if I could. But I'm just going to stay put. I kind of want to learn all the moves before it actually evolves. And then from there, you know, just evolve it on all that crap. And, well, here comes a Roselia. So let's go ahead and um, use Bud Kids as a, a flame uh, or its flame burst right here. And, well, look at that. Flame burst. There we go. Fainting. And there we go. More experience points for all of us right here. And, well, let's see. Obviously, if you defeat a Pokemon Ranger, you will get a berry. So that's also... It's also pretty good right there. And, well, let's see. Do we get an item right here? There might be an item. Nope. Just Pokemon Trainers that you can actually take on. And uh, that's not the end of the line right there. So this is probably the part where I'm just going to have to go speed buttoning all the way. And if you talk to this lady, she is going to try and battle you. So, yeah, we're going to be speed buttoning all the way right here. So here we go. Baker Jen wants the battle. Coming out with her Sunker and Bunkus. Big booty butt is ready to go. Look at that. And here comes a Combi. So let's continue on with the same Pokemon right here. So here comes a Flame Burst. And just like that, we get more experience points. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. A Pokemon you are proud of wins with your favorite move. That's when a trainer definitely smiles. This is so true. Now, if you come in here, talk to this lady. She's actually the humble maid. And, well, let's see. My master has a big heart to match his big belly. His secret, or he's a gourmet. So I am looking for ingredients that will make his heart jump for joy. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh, that aroma. It smells like gourmet or so gourmet. Do you have a wonderful ingredient in your bag? Would you consider it, uh, consider selling it to me? Yes. And she is probably talking about the berries that I have right here. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually give her the Orin Berry. And right here, she'll actually give us 20 Poke Dollars, which is not a lot. But, you know, eventually if you give her the Rare or the, the Berry, the, you know, she'll actually give you some, some better stuff. And, well, in a hot summer, I want to cool down with my Water-type Pokemon. On the other hand, a cool weather, I want to warm up with my Fire-type Pokemon. That is, that is also true. And, well, let's continue on our battles right here. Let's see. Talk to this person. A draw, or The drawbridge goes up when the ship needs to pass. Then the Pokemon are resting on its uh, the bridge of fly away all at once. Okay. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to... Stop moving, god dang it. And, yes, we're going to be battling this guy. Turn around. And, yes, he's singing. So, let's go ahead and speed button this whole thing right here. Coming out with a Scraggy. Let's go ahead and uh, use our reversal because, well, we can. And here comes a reversal attack. That was super effective. But I guess it's more of like, you know, if you get hit first. And this guy is kicking our butts right now. So, there we go. Okay. So, that was a pretty good win right there. All right. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's... You know what, let's give, uh, you know what, let's give Sai a little bit of a, a love right here. It's been a while. Not not too much of a while, but you know what I mean. And if you go right here, holy crud, there's something going on. This guy won't let us through. You have four gym badges. You might be able to defeat Charles. Please beat him for me. Okay, Charles. Who's Charles right here? It's always the guy on the bike. I'm a heartbreaker. My name is Charles. I wanted to get uh, the attention of a girl I like, so I mastered a new style of Pokemon battling called Triple Battle. Want to learn it? Okay. In Triple Battles, you can send out three Pokemon at a time in battle. The rules are simple. Just make all of your opponents pick Pokemon faint, and that's the rough explanation of Triple Battles. I'm a heartbreaker. My name is Charles, and yes, okay, so we're going to be battling, and okay, she's always full throttle, so here we go, guys. We're going to be doing some Triple Battling right now. And this is completely different from a rotation battle. So, this time, you can attack with each one of these Pokemon. But I think, I think it just, it all depends on what, what you got right here. Now, right now, Bugkiss is not looking so good. So, let's see. Razor Shell, that will actually work for... 
I can, I can use it for Arkin. And then here we have a Spark Attack for Sigalith. And we're going to have to switch out our Pokemon Buckus right here because that's not looking so good right now. So let's go ahead and go with Shadar right here. So Buckus has returned. Just remember the corner Pokemon can't attack the far corner Pokemon on the opposite side. And here comes a Aqua Jet, which was aimed for Buckus right here. And here comes an air cutter. So at least, yeah, we're, we're all slow. And Shadar has been... Oh, good gravy. Oh, my God. Okay, so there we go. This razor, sh uh, razor Shell actually works right here. And, well, more experience points for all our Pokemon. And here comes a Magneto Spark Attack. Let's go. And that one is super effective. And now we're going to have to actually switch our Pokemon right here. So, let's see, triple battle, I wonder what came, okay, so, let's see, before I start asking questions, let's go ahead and take out Gigalith, and look at that, you can play at this game right here, so let's go with Psy of the Torrent, and let's go with a Razor Shell to Sigalith, and here we go, Spark Attack to that, and let's go with a Psy Beam to Tortuga right here, and here comes a Light Screen to protect all its Pokemon, well, two Pokemon, so here we go, Psy Beam Attack, Going straight to Tortugo, and well, it is, uh, yeah, it is confused right there. So here goes Razor Shell and Sigalith defeated. Alrighty, okay, and Magneto grows to level 30. So I think we all know what that means right there. And here comes the Spark Attack, and oh my god, okay, so why didn't I think of that sooner? I do not know. I thought Tortugo had like a immunity from a flying to or from a electric type so there we go we're getting all our effects as you guys can see triple battles are a little bit inconvenient like I, to me they're a little inconvenient uh mainly because well shoot it, it's just like it's involving more pokemon at the same time i think i'm just gonna like you know so i'm gonna speed button right here i think you know you should just they should just stick with the double battles right here because it's just like like i said triple battles are very inconvenient and well we have defeated charles and just like that, we got a Digivolution. Magneto is finally evolving, and well, there is a good reason to why I, I haven't used the, the rare candy in my pocket. Mainly because after we get out of the Drift Veil, we're gonna be going into a, a certain kind of cave that will allow Magneto to evolve real quickly. So there you go, guys. Magneto has evolved into Magneton, and well, sheesh, it's embarrassing. Getting schooled when I was planning to teach? Still, you have potential. You have to understand a Pokemon to win a, you, you're, you have to understand your Pokemon to win a triple battle. Okay, all right, so just like that, he's gonna say the same thing, and well, riding my bike, riding a bike and becoming the win that fits a bad boy like me. Okay, all right, well, huh. And just like that, you were great, Charles, too. He was great so to some extent, I guess. Three Pokemon. Love. Good, good, good. Okay. So, <laughs> that's pretty much it right there, guys. So, we're going to stop right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going into Drift Vale and doing a lot of stuff right there. Thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go into Drift Vale City. See you guys.